Hello! I'm back outside the Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham and this time I'm here to see Wonderland, the new Alice in Wonderland musical. I am with the absolutely, I'm going to say delicious, Aww. because we'll talk about that oh, as well, okay. but absolutely delicious Wendy Peters, um, who I guess you're most well known for Scylla and um, Battersby yep. in yep. Coronation absolutely. Street. However, you are uh, an absolute legend of stage. Oh, you, very you, kind. You do an incredible amount of stage shows. Yeah, well. it's where my, my first love really is the theatre. Okay. It's what I trained in. I trained in musical theatre for three years and um, came out of college and worked for a good 10, 12 years in musicals and plays uh, before Coronation Street. Mm. And now it's lovely to be back doing all that um, and going back to my roots. Now, Wendy and I met when she sat on my lap during a production of The that. Mystery of Edwin Drood at um, the... <laughs> the Landor. The Landor. You were yes. in a corner seat. I was in a corner yeah. seat with my mum and my dad yeah. <laughs> and she just comes over Hiya. halfway through a song and sits on my lap. Oh. You, know, you, you obviously just saw she a good lap drawn. to sit on. I was just drawn yeah. to you. <laughs> at the moment, you are the Queen of Hearts in a new musical version of Alice in Wonderland. I am, and look at my crown. Wonderland. That's so tiny. Look at my little crown that goes on my wig. Yeah. Now, I haven't seen this show yet. I am seeing this show after mm. this interview. It's mm. very exciting. Mm. Oh, oh, see, that's, see, that's so theatrical. Kerry Ellis to stage door. Kerry Ellis to stage door. Yes, Kerry Ellis is here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Queen and of musical theatre. Doing a little bit of research. I found your blog. Oh, Wendy yeah, Peters. Yeah. Pudding, Pudding Queen. Queen. Yeah, yeah. Queen of Hearts, I haven't been Pudding able Queen. to yeah do an awful lot on the blog because I've been on tour in, in no. the last uh, six months. In but fact, I can tell you what your last post was. Go on. Lettuce cake. Oh, there you go. It's nice. You should try <laughs> the lettuce cake. It. Try and make it. It's good. Okay. Um, yeah, not normal, is it? Lettuce and a cake, but hey, it tastes really good. Mm. Have a look at the blog. Before we get onto the question, there is one thing, and this is another thing that sort of um, has um, brought us together, uh, and it's sewing. <laughs> Because, so I mean, I, I don't know how many people know this, but it, it's one of the reasons that I love you so much, is that you, you won Celebrity Sewing Bee. It's my favourite trophy in my downstairs loo. God, <laughs> it us, really honestly. is. And I, there's a pointless one there as well from Christmas, but the oh, sewing bee. Pointless. It's there. Yeah. So oh my bee. God. Well, it's one of those things, isn't it? And that is the joy of, of things like being in Coronation Street. I love my four years there, but the opportunities to things like that that it mm. gave me to do. Mm. It was the Celebrity Sewing for Children in Need. Mm. Um, and my agent emailed me just sort of went, oh, they've asked if you fancy doing this. And I haven't seen it. I, don't know. I went, I'm doing it. <laughs> it literally was. There was no question about it. No matter when it was filming, I was there for those two days just to walk into that warehouse and see that haberdashery section and just go, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Um, and I hadn't really sewn for quite a while um, clothes. I'd been making curtains and cushions, you know, re recently or, you know, for, and I did that when I wasn't working as an actress, I'd make them for people. But um, clothes wise is, was taking me back to school days, a pattern and working from that. Um, but I loved it. I loved every single minute of it and was just over the moon to win. You were so good. Oh, Your the stuff was incredible. Oh, the moon. And I have to ask. Miss Ellis, come to stage door. Oh, please. she's so busy. Oh, she's Kerry. She's, 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 Kerry, Kerry in the next door. I'll knock on the wall. <laughs> Kerry, come on. There's people so stage let's, door. We'll go and get her in a minute. Yeah. I ask every guest I have this one mm. question for you to share with others, and it is this: What is the one thing that you were either told or you've learned for yourself that makes your life easier or happier? Okay. Uh, I've got one that, that happened to me when I was at college, at Musical Theatre College, which then leads on to something else, which Ooh. I've done through my career. Okay. The one at college was, we were doing a production, on my third year production, we were doing Chicago, mm -hmm. and I was playing Roxy Hart. And uh, my mum had made me the most beautiful evening dress for the number Roxy. Um, and we all thought it was absolutely stunning. And I did the dress rehearsal. Um, and then I, I found out that the principal of the college um, I'm not naming any names or anything from nobody's know. Um, thought I looked terrible in it. Thought I looked fat in it. So um, obviously I was quite upset by that. Mm -hmm. But there was no, we weren't changing it. I was working there. And the singing teacher at the time, uh, there was a lovely man called John Turtle, and he came to my dressing room and he handed me a card, and he went, "I'm not going to say anything. I want you to. I'm going to go, and you're going to read this card." So I read this card, and it was just beautiful. It said, "Just be yourself. You are beautiful." Clothes are just a tra are just trappings, um, and I took that for him to him saying 
doesn't matter what you're wearing what you're doing is shining through and that is really really important and I often think about that now mm. even in, in things when I'm doing some dramas and I look an absolute bugger you know and I, and I can't and when I'm doing TV so sometimes and I look and I think it doesn't matter because I'm just being that character and I'm being me being that character and it doesn't matter what I look like mm. and, and my other phrase that I always say to people and say to myself is um, treat people how you would like to be treated mm. everybody no matter what they do in, in, in the world in general, particularly within the theatre, is as important as anybody else. Because without anybody, without the follow spot, without your backstage, without your stage management, without your dressers, your wardrobe department, you wouldn't have a show. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the people that are up there on stage. So it is treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. You get a true sense yeah. of someone's character when you see how they treat others. Yeah. yeah. And the, the be yourself, I think, particularly with mental health being so at the forefront of everything now it's probably one of the hardest things in this day and age to achieve mm. be yourself yeah there's so much scrutiny there's so much um you can't do that you can't be this you can't be that oh, judge judgment and and with social media everything's on view there's mm. so little privacy now social media is the way for everybody and I, I say to my daughter who's 16 just be really careful what you put on there because it's out there for everybody and you know in years to come anybody who's wanting to hire you or you go for a job interview or anything can refer back to anything and go oh i don't like it when she did that mm. you just got to be so so careful which actually go, go on no I was saying, my trick is with with things like with the twitter and all those kind of things if i type something that i'm going to put out there i read it three times before i press send mm. and if i get to the third point and i'm not sure i delete it I like that. That's a good thing. My my dad taught me exactly the same thing. If never respond in anger, leave it and, and wait. Write it and go away and do something else, and then come back and see whether you still think it's worth that's, sending. Yeah, I think that's, that's really good. Good point. Yeah, good point. Yeah. When you can be yourself, you'll find your greatest happiness. And I think again, that is possibly something that comes with age. Because you get to a point in your life where you think, I don't have to please everybody. Yeah, you if I don't want to go out you. with such a person on Thursday night for a meal, I'll just say, I don't need to say, oh, I can't know because I'm doing this. I'll just say, actually, no, I don't want to if that's okay. Yeah. You know, there's, yeah. I don't take offence if somebody mm. calls me up and says, oh, I can't meet you for a drink anymore. Yeah. I don't need an excuse. Yeah. I think um, to it's that, just I'm being... just going to say, phew, thank goodness that you said, <laughs> said yes, yes to this video. <laughs> well, actually. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, you can't do it there. No, oh, okay. no. But there um, is that. That is an yeah. age thing, isn't it? it where you is. just go, I don't need to pretend that I want to see somebody or do something with Oh, but it's going like. against everything that's British, though, isn't it? Yes. yes. Because we do like oh, no, to suffer. Of course I will. Yes. <laughs> we yeah, do no, like no. to suffer yeah, as Brits. Yeah. Of course I'll meet you. Oh. Um, before we go, I've yeah. just got to... So I was just dipping down here. Just, my shoes. Just these shoes. Got my shoes. These shoes. Are just so we have the crown amazing. and the shoes. Crown and shoes, yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, Wendy, yes. it's been a joy. Thank oh, you so much. It's been much. so lovely to see you. I know you've got very little time. No, it's fine. Um, and I and wonder you... who else will be in this dressing room next. <laughs> to come I wonder and see. who next. I'm going to start stalking. Be good. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's not a very nice dressing room. It's not. Though, it really, is not. Is it? But I will actually look because we Carrie didn't quite Ellis. get in. It doesn't get even go to shot. today's drawing. She's got number one. What's that about? I, I thought this know. was number one dressing room. No, this is number two. You're kidding me. Yeah. Can you believe it? It's closest to the stage. When Kerry's not here next week in End, I get number one. Nice, nice, yes. good. Did you seriously get to move? Yes. I love that. Brilliant. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, she's such a professional <laughs> that she created set set Look, dressing. You have photos of my, my, my kids and my um, candle there. The candle. Lovely. Done. Thank you ever so much. Oh, for it's your a time. pleasure. It's, it's been so lovely. It's been a joy, it's and good. Um, I will catch up with you very soon. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Thanks Enjoy. very much. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. This is Lula, and this is Ashley, Bye. both performers and both friends with Wendy Peters. So, what do we think of the show? I really enjoyed it. I think it's nice to have new, fresh um, theatre hitting the UK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quirky. I like that. Quirky. 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 Like the that. music is just uplifting. Isn't it makes it? you feel amazing. <laughs> loved it. Loved it. And also, Wendy, all I want now is a jam tart. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's what happens when you eat a jam tart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'll see you again. Thank Say bye. You. Bye. 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 Well, yet again, I've had a lovely time with some great people. Um, they're just all queuing now to get Kerry Ellis's autograph. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've really enjoyed the video, and I will catch up with you very, very soon. Take care now. Bye.